Hello, hello everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where your stories and other random things take center stage. And welcome to today's video and my review of the Excalibur Curse by um, <clears throat> Kirsten White. This is the last book in the Camelot Rising trilogy. So here we go. Um, here is their summary. The gripping conclusion to the acclaimed Arthurian fantasy trilogy from New York Times best-selling author Kirsten White finds Guinevere working, I'm sorry, questioning everything, friends and enemies, good and evil, and most of all, herself. While journeying north toward the Dark Queen, Guinevere falls into the hands of her enemies. Behind her are Lancelot, trapped on the other side of the magical barrier they created to protect Camelot and Arthur, who has been led away from his kingdom, chasing after false promises. But the greatest danger isn't what lies ahead of Guinevere, it's what's been buried inside her. Vowing to unravel the truth of her past with or without uh, Merlin's help, Guinevere joins forces with the sorceress Morgana and her son Mordred and faces the confusing forbidden feelings she still harbors for him. When Guinevere makes an agonizing discovery about who she is and how she came to be, she finds herself with an impossible choice. Fix a terrible crime or help prevent war. Guinevere is determined to set things right, whatever the cost, to defeat a rising evil, to remake a kingdom, to undo mistakes of the past, even if it means destroying herself. Guinevere has been a changeling, a witch, a queen, but what does it mean to be just a girl? Um, okay, this book is, I was not what I was expecting, I'll be quite honest. This book is, I mean, I love it. It just wasn't what I was expecting when I was reading it. I feel like I was expect, I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting the twist that happened in this book. I was, I, I honestly am not sure what I was expecting, but the twist that occurred was actually outright kind of shocking to me. And I, I don't get shocked easily in twists. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. I can see it. And oh, wow, that makes a lot of sense. But this one, I... I wasn't sure. Like I was able to see it after after looking back since I read the series, so I was able to see it, but it was still surprising and I was like, "Oh wow, that was quite the twist." And for it to show up in the third book in the last book and also the shortest because um the Excalibur curse is 278 pages which is a pretty short book because the others were 350, like 352 and 370. And then this one just went down to 278. So for it to show up in the, in the last book was a good choice because I was surprised. I loved the way that it came up. I, I really did. But I, I'll admit I was surprised. I was, it was interesting um to see that especially after looking at Guinevere's backstory and we find out exactly what happens and also Morgana does quite the change here it turns out um it, it a bit of a spoiler here but um it turns out the old magic had corrupted her um it was it it, it, uh, it turns out magic has an it has an interesting <coughs> it has an interesting seat here but uh but yeah it w it's very interesting to see how magic plays a role in these people's lives but also how it uh it can be good and bad at the same time um and how things happen honestly for the longest part in this book 
I really did not like Arthur. I hated him in this part, in this book a little bit too much because there was a, uh, there was a part where he made Guinevere choose certain, made Guinevere choose. And I was just like, bro, what's wrong with you? I liked you in the first two books. Right now I hate you. And I was like really annoyed by it. Um, but then I, then I kind of understand what happened especially by the end when we finally meet Merlin after three books and he turns out to be a jerk and I was like yeah the ending you got you deserved I was really happy with the way it ended with um <clears throat> with Merlin I was like yeah he deserved that ending it was a really good ending I feel for him so I enjoyed the ending he got I will not spoil that ending I also will not spoil anything that happens in this book because I feel like it's it's one of those books that I really want you to read. I can fangirl all about these books. I could. I just I just feel like um, it's still kind of recent release. And um, and even though I, I, I could outright fangirl over them, I kind of like fangirling in the moment when I read them. And it's been a while. And it's been like... And I may get some of these things wrong. And I don't want to like start spoiling and getting some of the stuff wrong. But I liked the ending. I loved it. I think the I think the the ending for this for this book was really good, especially the way the way it, it all ended, especially with Guinevere. And I think Morgana had also an interesting ending, even though I would have actually really loved that it would have um, it would have been a different ending. I think, but I it, but the explanations make sense, so it 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 just works out r really really well. I love the ending, love this book, five stars. Um, the next three videos are going to be recommendations for after um, uh, the Camelot Betrayal, so stick around for those. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts on this entire series. I did enjoy the entire series a lot, and I will see you tomorrow, and until then, consume stories.